Well, here we are down at Crow Point. And um, sat in the van having a cup of tea. We've uh, got all my instruments here and some bobs and knobs and a solar panel to go on the boat. I'm down at the moment doing all the wiring. So I've just come out to get a bit of wiring and a handle to put on my door. And then we'll be back down. There she is over there on the mud. And we'll be back down to do the work. The beach is more or less empty. It's bank holiday weekend, but uh, people have been talking about the camp. So it's more or less deserted here. And I'll be back on the boat in a minute to get um, some more work done. Hey, we're on day two. I just um, put a waterproof switch on the back of the boat there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a black right uh, there little waterproof switch, I've just powered it through to the battery, I've moved the battery from the back, back all the way to here, now I've got to get another battery to go in series there, and um, I'm just checking out all the power on all my switches, that switch has gone duh, so I took the fish sounder to that one, that is the most important thing on my boat, so I've got that one on, now this one is, this one here runs where the GPS goes in here, GPS is the phone, sits in there and um, the cigarette lighter inside there that runs all the gubbins. So day two we're getting there, we've got another day, hopefully sailing tomorrow, just around in here, just to test the boat. Then I've got all next week to load it up with food and to get it ready to go, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. But um, like I say, everything's fresh, fresh, fresh. They unlocked everybody from Covid and said, oh, you can do what you want. Everybody got on their sporting wire boat inside and drive that way for the first time to come in and get on land. And we've got them down here and all the levels clean. Tomorrow I'll be sailing off tomorrow night and fingers crossed. Well, day two, I've been down, I've done some work on the boat. The boat sat there again now, as you can see. And, uh, I'll come out there and have a word with Lyra really, she's here on her own. But a um, cup of tea and then I'm going to get back down and get her all ready, hopefully. Get her ready to do some sailing tomorrow night to give her a run. And then i got all next week to load her up, ready for the big tides. With fingers crossed, a cup of tea for now. I'll get around to washing my cup sometime, so nobody comment on it please. Catch you in a bit. Well there's my little boat now, she's all clean and ready to load up and um, we're hoping now for Tuesday, me, that boat there, that boat there and that boat there, hopefully we're off to do a bit of sailing down to Cavelli and have the night down there. So um, fingers crossed, let's hope everything works out. I, um, Open Holford is open. I need to get a leisure about it. I'm going to buy one tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, folks, this is the life. Cheers, all. Hello, everyone. Day three. We've been uh, shopping this morning and bought all the food to last three days. Poise for tonight for a snack, and um, I'm just messing about that anchor now. I've got some smaller chain to put on, longer but smaller, and anchor will go in my pot then. So uh, fingers crossed. But uh, today is so hot, it's, it's unbelievable. I wouldn't have my hat on, but I just put my hat on to go sawing this. All I got to saw it with a junior axe, so I took the big saw home last time. Anyway, hopefully she'll be ready by tonight. I bought more fuel, more water, everything I need to load up for a three, four day trip. Just have a quick cup of tea and finish sawing this. Well, that lovely to end to um, day four. This uh, tide's just on its way back out. Got the work done on the boat. All I'm left to do now is put all the food on. 
all I'm left to do now is put the um, perishable foods on, on when I go out. But there she is, she's sat there. Tomorrow I will check motors and um, get all my navionics upset and all my GPS, my fish pointers, depth sounders, the um, autopilot, get them all up and running and check them tomorrow. Yours was wet, but she's dry now. So, uh, so end this day four. It was a hot one. Not as hot as they said, though, I don't think. Yeah, it's about 30 degrees here. Yeah, about 30 degrees. Yeah, it's 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 about a shower and a beer on the back of the boat. We've had two down here, so we've had a good day. Day four tomorrow, we should we get on. Good morning, everybody. Day four, trying to get the boat ready. Tonight is optimum. If I don't get out tonight, I've got to wait for another five days. So I'm up this morning early. I'm just going through the list. I've got um, everything I've ticked I've got and it's on the boat. A lot of it I've got like like bread, instruments, my Navionics phones, my phone chargers, my phone phones. They're all, I've got them all but they're not on the boat so I'm, they're waiting to be ticked. So now I've got a rush, I've got um, Aldis. See if I can get a duvet because we're going to be out there for a night or two. It's going to be quite cold, so I've got to get a duvet. I could sleep in my float suit, but that's not as nice as sleeping in a nice duvet with no skinny clothes on. So we're off out there. Hopefully, day four we get ready for tonight. If we're not ready, then as I say, we've got to wait another five days. So fingers crossed. Okay, Babs. Okay, day four, four o'clock. We just stopped. Come back for a coffee. The boat sat out there now, all kitted up, all the food on, enough food for four days. As I say, I'm never going to see without enough food and water for four days. If this breeze keeps up through, I doubt it. It's going to drop off by the time I'm going out. I'm going out in the old wind. I can feel it in my bones. But we will see. As I say, I've been working like a pig. Airs everywhere. It's four o'clock, I've got to wait now till half eight, quarter to nine, and I'll be on my way. Checked all my instruments, navigation, everything's working. Down is the pound. Well, everybody, I lost track of the days here, but those last few bits of film. Today is day five, not day four. I misjudged the day. I forgot bank holiday. I was thinking I was going out on one day and I was talking at the wrong tide time. I thought tonight I'd have to have went out at about quarter to nine, whereas in fact I'd have to be going out about near fucking what, near quarter to ten. So I put it off tonight and I'm off out in the morning, which is better because the tide's not till nine forty and the toll gate's open at eight o'clock. So I can drive in and I've got an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 30 minutes to get the boat kitted up and ready to go again because I had to take all the electronics on tonight. So all I've got to do is row out to her, put all the electronics on and hopefully we're away in the morning. In the meantime, early to bed tonight, put your alarm on up early in the morning. So watch this space. All I've got to do is say is get on the boat in the morning, everything's on it. 